For a lot of us, the off season is here and it's time to do some winter maintenance and upgrading. Here are five must have bike tools that you should keep in your toolbox and these won't break the bank. If you don't like to do your own maintenance, your local bike shop is always a good option and not expensive. Frayed cables suck and are a pain to work with. I picked up this Mazata cable cutter for $12.99 on Amazon. It makes clean cuts and keeps the cable end round. It's a good price to save some headache and even came with some cable ends to sweeten the deal. This next tool is this X-Tools Pro Cable Puller. This tool is also known as a fourth hand. Not sure where the third hand went, but this tool makes getting cables nice and tight a piece of cake. The concept is simple. Attach a tool to the cable, give it a squeeze till the cable is tight, then tighten your set screw and you're good to go. This will help keep anything cable actuated in good working order. If your bike uses a master link chain, the Park Tool MLP 1.2 Master Link Pliers is a must have. At 16 bucks, these are a great deal. Unlike other Master Link pliers, these have little notches on the tip that let you snap the Master Link back in place. This makes the job a little quicker, plus they're made in the USA. When it's time to do drivetrain maintenance or upgrades, it's always good to have a chain whip and cassette lock ring tool. Here I'm showing you two different kinds of lock ring tools. These are the ones that I have in my toolbox. There are lots of variations on this tool, so make sure you find the one that best fits your bike and suits your needs. This one is made by Bike Hand. It works with a half inch drive socket, so it's perfect to use with a torque wrench. This other one by Park Tool, which I've nicknamed Dr. Manhattan, works with an adjustable wrench and has a 12 millimeter guide pin for boost axles to keep it stable while tightening. So that's it. Hope you found these suggestions helpful. If you have any questions, please post up in the comments. If you think my suggestions are terrible, let me know as well. If you found something cheaper that works better, also let me know. I've put links to all of these products in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.